everyone. Today I'd like to talk about the Rokinon 24 millimeter wide angle scene lens. Now this lens is one that I've had in my collection for quite some time and it's actually the one that I do use the most often when I'm outdoors uh, using the Merlin especially because of the fact that it does have such a good wide angle and um, you really don't want a large depth of field because you won't, you know, you can't easily uh, focus while you're using the uh, Merlin. So this works really well for that. And uh, so let's go ahead and take a look here. See what we got. So in this thing, basically just have your instructions, uh, pouch that comes with it. And then the lens itself. This lens is pretty bulky too. It's got good weight to it. And then you've got your hood. Um, what I'd like to do now then is go ahead and uh, move the camera in for a closer look here so we can go over a few things on the lens. Okay, let's check this thing out. Now, one of the things you'll notice, because this is a scene lens, it has a geared focus ring which you could use with a, a follow focus mechanism. And it also has a geared iris or aperture ring down here. And it's also declicked, which means of course that it transitions very smoothly from uh, the largest opening down to the smaller opening. Um, so it is a smooth transition. You don't have, it doesn't, uh, you're not tied to a specific f-stop setting as you would be in a photography lens. So that gives you a lot more latitude when you're doing video work. And uh, my general comments about the lens is that it's pretty uh, well built. I mean, it's very solid. And I do like this lens a lot because it really works well like on the Steadicam because that's one of the situations where I need sort of a wide view. And also, I don't really want a shallow depth of field, you know, I want to be able to, um, I want to be able to have as much in focus as possible because, you know, you really can't be focusing the lens when you're running the Steadicam, uh, at least not the Merlin 2. Um, so what I usually end up doing is I use this lens and uh, I use a setting here on the uh, aperture ring, you know, I try to keep it uh, pretty pretty small so that way I can get as much in uh, focus as possible. And one of the other things too is that if you do use this lens at the widest opening like around 1.5, uh, it tends to be a little on the soft side so I typically don't, you know, I typically use this lens maybe starting after 2.6 to 4 and then from then on out it's, it's pretty good. So um, you can see in some of the test footage that I've done that uh, it, does, it does render pretty well. So just keep that in mind. It's probably not the best lens for a really low light situation. But then, you know, for this price range that you're paying, it's not really the, that uh, unreasonable, I guess. But overall, I do like it. And it's definitely the, probably the lens I use the most. So what I'm going to do next is show some uh, sample footage that I did using the Merlin and RAW video. And uh, we can check out the performance. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you in the next video and enjoy the footage. Mm -hmm. 